Good morning, Ninja Nation. Sandy C is back with some uncommon sense. And I'm out here doing Hurricane Ian cleanup, but that's not what this is about. Today, I wanna to give you the most important skill on earth. And that is the ability to learn, okay? And I'm not talking about aptitude. I'm not talking about aptitude, your mind's ability to learn. I'm talking about putting your ego aside, shutting your mouth, opening your ears and your eyes to learn things, okay? We can't possibly know everything. It's not possible, it's impossible, okay? Do you know how to lift a ship out of water with just some ropes? I don't, but Archimedes did it a few hundred years ago, okay? So, I'm mentioning this because I'm around a lot of and these folk think they know everything sometimes. You know, there's a lot of egos around here and they don't want to sit and listen. They don't care about anybody else's experiences or anything like that. <clears throat> but the number one skill you can learn is how to learn. How to learn. And I want to tell you, you have the ability to, to do anything. Okay? Anything. You are a human being. If a human being before you did it, guess what? You can do it too. You just got to be willing to listen, learn, and try. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Now, that comes with the caveat on the mistake end. You know, don't bite off more than you can chew. You know, stop at a point before you break something or something like that. Ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Heck, that's what you should be doing. Ask for help. There's a ton of people on this planet. Okay, and you can't know everything that everyone else knows. That's why there are specialists, people that focus on one single area. I like being a jack of all, okay, give, give you a good base knowledge, but anyone can do that. I'm not special. The only difference is my level of humility and my ability to put my ego aside, understand someone else before me has already done it, and they've done it better. And so there is... Where there's a will, there's a way, okay? Look at this, I'm hanging out in all these flying bees. Hanging out with the honeybees. Oh yeah, it's real sweet out here. But uh, yeah, a lot of people are afraid to, you know, even check their oil or their fluids or, you know, fix something. I never worked on hydraulic pumps. And you can hear that noise maybe in the background. We've got skid steers and all kinds of other equipment out here. Well, day one, Started blowing O-rings and fluid going everywhere. I didn't wait for anything. I grabbed my wrenches. I saw the issue. No, I haven't had experience with hydraulics particularly, but I know how to turn a wrench, okay? If you don't know how to turn a wrench, go ahead and learn how to turn a wrench. And ask somebody. Ask someone to teach you how to turn a wrench. It's not hard. Once you can do something like that, you got a baseline. So you just look at a problem and get her done. Unscrewed it. Oh, look at this. Oh, it rings bad. Let's pop a new one on. Zip. Zip it back on. You know, easy peasy. Not a big thing. Other people are looking at, oh, that's so impressive. You do that to me, I'm saying, come over here. I'm going to teach you how to do it. Come on. Come on. Come on over here. You can do anything. Anything. Anything anyone has done, you can do. But just be humble enough to know that someone before you has and can do it better. And look, listen, learn, 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 learn. It's fun to learn new things and you'll be proud of yourself. It gives you an awesome sense of pride. It's fantastic, okay? So, Ninja Nation, that's all for today. I believe in you. Oh, parents out there, don't let your kids learn to drive until they know how to change a tire, okay? The last thing you want is your 16 or 17 year old daughter on the wrong side of town with a flat tire waiting for some creepy tow truck driver, okay? I've taught many a girl. I remember uh, um, my sister's roommate in college. I had my motorcycle, I was visiting her. Her roommate called. Her Jeep Grand Cherokee got a flat tire. I heard it on the speakerphone and my sister could see, see my shit-eating grin on my face just light up. She was like, will you go help her? I was like, oh yeah. Oh, I will. So I threw my tire iron in my leather jacket, rode over there. 
I threw the tire iron at her and I kicked my feet up on my motorcycle and she looked at me like, what in the hell? And I said, I'm not here to change your tire. You can do it. And she threw a big old hissy fit. Oh my God, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, all right. You can wait three hours for the tow truck man to do it or you can listen to me and I'll have you out of here in 10, 15 minutes. So she sucked it up. She changed that damn tire herself and her entire demeanor changed. She was ecstatic. She was stoked. And now, the next time, if and when it happens, she doesn't have to call anybody. She doesn't have to go calling, crying to daddy or call AAA or anybody else. She can do it herself and you can too. And if you're a parent, if you drive and you don't know how to change a tire, shame on you, straight up. Shame, shame on you, sissy. Get out there and change a tire. Do it right now, do it today. It's not hard. I can change one in 10 to 15 minutes. And then when you get good at it, well, you don't need to be good at it. It's pretty easy, a few steps. I'm not gonna go to it here. There's plenty of videos on YouTube. Learn it before you're in that area of town or before you're in that dead zone and you can't YouTube it. Maybe you can't call that. Maybe you can't call AAA. Maybe you're stuck on the Heel Toe Express having to walk several miles. I've seen it before. We, uh, when I was a kid, ran out of gas in the middle of BFE, Montana. There was nothing for a long way. Except for there was one house and a tractor. So we were able to siphon fuel get going got some extra mileage there's a lot of tricks like that but learn how to change a tire at least that it'll give you some sense of pride you'll learn how to t turn a wrench and you'll be able to apply that across the field to a million other things i've never been taught how to work on hydraulics i've been changing them for the last two weeks straight almost daily i never was taught how to do a water pump in a truck i did mine before i left i was never did a starter before i did one in 45 minutes while shooting a youtube video I just got to stitch it together. Urgh, that's what I'm not good at. I don't like editing. It takes too long. And I don't have the computer stuff for it. Okay. But go out there. Don't. You can do it. I just want to motivate you that you can do anything you put your mind to. But you can't just expect it to come. You can't expect to be a master immediately. You got to try things a few times. You got to fail a few times. That's where wisdom and experience come from. Okay, you often learn a lot more from failures than you do successes. Okay, so Ninja Nation, I'm gonna leave you with that. You guys be awesome. Keep Googling and keep, yeah, keep Googling and looking up Hurricane Ian. It is really bad out here. It's a lot worse than the media is making it. This is beyond, I mean, it's, I've been to third world countries that are better right now. So get on that, Google it. These people need help. And stay away from the darn purified water people. Come on now. All right, guys. Sandy C is out. I hope you have an awesome day. Love you. Bye.